Well, my vision is to create an entirely new media platform one that is based on transformational content. Now this isn't Pollyanna, this isn't just good news. This is about how do you take where you're at in your life and add a drop of insight, a drop of inspiration, a drop of wisdom that allows you to take it to that next level. But oftentimes people need someone, they need an expert, they need a mentor, they need a coach, they need an idea that changes their perspective, that changes the conversation as they've been having it over and over and over again in their minds. And that's what we're doing here is we're bringing together experts who offer an expanded perspective, who offer different ideas. Have you ever wondered how to start a global business from your kitchen table? Well, believe me, it is possible. In fact, it can even be easy. So my next guest, Lena Bjorna, she is an award-winning entrepreneur and she's joining us here today to show us step-by-step -step not only how to create that business, but how to grow it into a global empire. Lena, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. So someone is sitting at home. They mm -hmm. want to start their own business. Maybe they've lost their job. Where do they start? Very first thing is that you need a storefront. Basically, you need to have the setup of a website, uh, a sales funnel, okay, follow-up emails with a website where you collect the information, the contact details of the person that you are wanting to market to. And uh, really the key is to automate as much of this process as possible, which is why, you know, internet marketing is really is the way to go, I believe, um, you know, today. And, uh, that's really where you got to start. Now, uh, what I would recommend for somebody who's just starting out brand new is uh, not to try to create everything from scratch because there's quite a lot of work involved in setting up websites and you know, setting up a, a, a sales funnel. So what I would recommend as a, for a brand new person starting out is, is to, to join a company, join a direct sales or network marketing company where everything is set up for you and ready to go. are millions of people out there who need information. They're seeking for um, solutions to things that are challenging themselves in their lives. And that's why we created this show, The Ripple Effect. It's really in response to the potential of what I believe can happen inside the media, but I have not seen happen yet to this point. I have interviewed thousands of people in my life. Donald Trump, Bill Clinton, celebrities. You know, I've worked on Capitol Hill. I've been in news a very, very long time. And I know for a fact that many times people will say, God, I heard that one sentence. I heard that one thought. I remember that one story. And that's all that sticks. So that's all we're doing is we're just creating a conversation with incredibly fascinating people from all over the world who are offering up one idea, two ideas that you can use immediately inside your life. That's all it is. Just what can I use today. I call it, you know, news you can use. So that's what this is. This is just something that you can take as you watch it in the morning and apply it in the afternoon. This is a very interesting twist of fate. You know, this is the last newsroom that I was in 14 years ago. So I was doing the morning cut-ins. I'd get up at 3.30 in the morning and I would come down to this very station, this ABC station here in St. Louis, to cover, you know, whatever crime and chaos had happened the night before. And here I am now, literally more than a decade later, in the same newsroom. Uh, creating this show. You know, just this past month I moved into my old news director's office. You know, I'm working with the same videographer who was with me during those morning cut-ins. It's almost as if the whole thing has been orchestrated by some greater calling. I mean, here we are inside a newsroom that has been a non-functioning newsroom for about a decade. The opportunity presented itself and I thought, you know what? I've had this idea for this show. 
um, all these incredible experts that I've met inside wellness, personal development, spirituality, they had these powerful messages. But I knew for a fact that they would never get on real traditional TV because they weren't sensational enough because they didn't have some kind of tragedy to report. Because what they were talking about, while it could transform hundreds, even thousands of lives, it wasn't sensational. It wasn't um, edgy. And I think that that is about to be redefined. I really believe that this whole message of transformation, of personal development, of even spiritual growth, is the message that the majority of people out there want to hear.